rage time. That one can be handled. We need to kill Silky. Okay, Silky's gonna die. <laughs> I don't know if I that one out there right now. Um, we should go heal your pet. There we go. After we fucking bomb that wolf for no reason. Oh, good. Whole person failed. No, I'm held. So Tatiana's held. Tatiana's held. That could be worse, but it also could be a lot better. You should not be stunned anymore. Oh, what? What's your hit dice, man? I really fucked that wolf over. Not that that wolf was like a. It was like a. Hey, yeah, this thing needs to die. It's harder to hit. I'm doing it. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Oh, she's held. Um. Strike as one. More bombs. Bombs away. Yeah! Got both of them with a hit. Perfect. Ooh, that's a different cook. Tatiana, you need to like pass that. Save me through. I'm just gonna throw that one out there. Wyvern skin cloak. I don't know what the fuck that is. Or does. Saving throw succeeded. Poor fucking wolf. I fucking destroyed him with that spell. How's my smile about doing? He is in better days. Oh, he almost died. Alright, that's pretty good. He's at least half. Alright. <coughs> now he's, yeah, he's stunned. Now he's up. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Wolf. Like, I know you're just a zombie creature. And there's, of course, all that speculation of, like, you know, it's technically a zombie creature. It doesn't die, but it's like, but does it still feel pain? Is it still, is it still bad, you know, thing to do? And just, like, technically it didn't kill him. Wait, hold on. Oh, because Silky had. Yeah, well, we might as well. Yeah. Collected from Silky, and then we're right next to our hometown. Okay, just want to make sure there was nothing over here. Let's get out of here. All right, I don't know why a good Fey <laughs> came through. Like it would make sense if it maybe was just neutral, but a good Fey came through and wanted our lands. Or he just wanted to fight me for whatever reason. <laughs> Alright, let's... Oh, we have some level ups here. <laughs> let's head back and see... Ugh, do we have any information? What the fuck was that? Those are some good questions I feel like I have. Uh, just do what you consider right. I'm not always disgusted. You know, not everyone gets a chance to become a baron, so discussing your baron's actions is actually something, something, something. Uh, So they are literally on the door of leveling up. <laughs> uh, except these two. Uh, not important. What is that cloak we got? The wiper and son of a bitch. <laughs> Poison sleep and paralysis. It's not horrible. Uh, two natural bonus to AC, but I don't think we really need that. Not homes, dude. Everyone has a ring of protection. You need one. 24 AC. Boom. He's pretty decent. He's decent. He's dead. He's AC. Now he's tankier. 
He's got more health and more AC. Good job. Um, shit. We don't have the money. I was hoping we'd have so. <sighs> He's so far off. He's so far off. I don't want to level him and just have him be so far off again. <laughs> you know. Because these people level and they, we're going to keep getting experience until we can get the money. And I was hoping that we'd give me more money than it did. Do you have any information on that? How may I serve you, Your Grace? Um, let me look at my map. The tax on our barony have stopped. Do we win? We'll have to wait for the news to arrive. Alright, well, we can start building shit while we, uh,. Have to wait. Yeah, well, we can build something while we're here. Um. Yeah. Uh, it wants us to unlock a new leader post, but working on that. Uh, build a workshop for your bucking in the outskirts region. I would definitely love to do such. So we can come join us. That's a good idea. Build that. Build that for sure. Um. Enter. Alright, let's build some shit, y'all. Um, piers. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's pretty legit. Affects lumberyard. Where's town? How does it affect the lumberyard? Ah, plus one relation. That's pretty good shit. Uh, herbalist house. Is that what I'm looking for? An upgrade to Alchemist Laboratory requires to hear one. I think that's what I'm looking for. Let's go more like this house, greenery, lumber yard, monument, orphanage, shop, shrine for free. Uh, smithy, tavern, watchtower, windmill, wooden wall. I think we should definitely build wooden walls. Um, <laughs> we'll see how we do that. Um, so I think it's Herbalist House is what we need for him. I think that could be, you know, on the outskirts here. Um, I've always objected to more military methods than some of my things here. Add five regions to your life. What? <laughs> How much uh, BP do I have? Three ninety. Be done in seven days. Um, I think a pier sounds like an awesome idea, and wooden walls sounds like an awesome idea. Village, town, city. Um, we'll look at that here in a second. Uh, def I definitely think a pier is a great idea. Throwing a pier up in that bitch. Uh, wooden walls, I think, is a fucking wonderful idea. Um, <laughs> start building me a wall. <laughs> so, you know. People just can't just roll up in my fucking town. Um, <laughs> um, um, what is this? I don't know if it's not a whole lot of We're still fresh though. Long house. Spacious buildings for meetings and discussions. Fix artisan shop, artisan studio, artisan workshop. Barracks sitting down. It just seems to be a good thing. It just seems to be a good thing. I think we put that longhouse right in the middle of the fucking town. You know what I mean? Like smack dab in the middle of the fucking town. We got 285. Let's you know let's go to fucking town on this bitch. It's gonna take 10 days. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Cool. Cool. Uh, two out of ten. Yeah, no, it's fine, man. It's fine. Um. Barracks, I think, is just makes sense. You know, I gotta have a place for my people. 
Uh, brewery's not a horrible idea. Hey, you yeah, having a barracks. Right in the smack dab there. It's kind of weird how everything's positioned, in my opinion, but whatever. General store, general energy. <coughs> kind of adjacent to a tavern. Which are taverns over here, is it not? <laughs> is that not our tavern? Over here? Uh, we get a free shrine. Requires a town. We are a village at the moment. How do we upgrade into a town? Oh, it requires a town to upgrade into a temple. Got it. We can throw a shrine for free. Kind of down with that. Corner down with that, you know? Yeah, no, I, I like the idea of a watchtower. Can we not that be constructed out front here? To the wooden wall? Could only be built in slot. Uh, windmill. Grainer or brewery. It is both. It can be built in separate can only be built in separate slot. So it can't be built along with this shit. It's gotta be built. Um Smithy. A lumber yard. Yeah. Get that lumber yard close to the pier. You know? Feel you feel you feeling that? Can you feel that? Da 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 oh uh, shit, you know? Um uh, Greenery Dance Hall Chaotic I do have a chaotic alignment. Oh, we gotta have a brewery, right? I mean, I mean let's go. Like, come on now. <laughs> uh what we constructing here? We got a lot of things that's constructing within the next couple of days. <laughs> Um, culture and loyalty. I mean, I definitely want to have loyalty. I want my people ready to ride and die for me, you know? I need that loyalty. So I feel like we have to have a dance hall. Like, right smack front and center. We need a dance hall. People need to, like, fucking... Get, get, you know, go foot loose and shit. You know, cut loose. Foot loose. Something about shoes. They were specifically on Sunday for whatever reason. It kind of seems like it defeats the purpose. Chase into a shop. I don't got a shop. But I already have shops in the town. Does that count? Is that the same thing? <laughs> I don't know. Um, adjacent. This is adjacent, right? Shop and a smithy. And then a shrine or anything. I mean, it gets my divine up, but like, go to, to a longhouse. Well, anything's gonna be next to a longhouse. Um, it does need loyalty. Alchemist laboratory, herbalist house. Get the herbalist house. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like I should look this up. I'll let these cook for now. I'll come back and find out which ones are like the shit, you know what I mean? And uh let's see what happens with that. So I think this is a good start. Like we're really building up our town now. And I think that's a good thing. I don't know. Um uh, Trade God. Nothing's built here. What? Do I use the same build points for these? I do. I feel like if anything, this bitch should have walls. Right? I think if anything, we should start getting this bitch wooden fucking walls to help protect it. It's a small fucking rinky dink ass town. And a watchtower? Sounds like a really good idea. Just throwing that one out there. Alright, so walls and a watchtower. We'll start them out with that. A nice defensive position. 
I think this is a good start. We'll let our BP build up a little bit. As long as they have a watchtower and walls, I feel more secure <laughs> about their chances over there. They might not be happy yet because they don't like have anything. But they're least protected on the outskirts there. Throwing that out there, that sounds pretty good to me. Uh, we need to look at our projects because now we can do them all. Um, so uh, I'll look into that later. We'll do this. Resolving the loyalty of the citizens. Uh, I think we need to rebuild the temple. 60 days. I do not have funds. I need build points for this. That's crazy. <laughs> Who uses points? Uh, for assignments and shit. What about this one? Is this quite? No, it doesn't require anything. Completing the project will rank up with loyalty. Interesting, kid. I don't know if I want to skip like two fucking weeks at the moment, though, but like. We definitely will, you know. We just need to. Uh, the Lord Maya will give me 500? Uh, Rustav has offered 500 BP on financial assistance in exchange for your promise to work exclusively with Rostov's Builders Guild. It's a generous offer, but who knows what consequences this would have for the Baron. Oh, he is our master here. Uh, choosing an advisor to him. The advisors will act according to their position and government believes in alignment. Choose wisely. Well, fucking, I got one choice. Uh... <coughs> Our merchants will see the right to establish a sizable trading post in the heart of New Stetven. Each city in the barony gains an extra 5 BP per week, 2 BP for each town, and 1 BP for each village. Choose an advisor to handle this event accordingly. 60 days resolved. 1500 BP required. I assume if we get a trade agreement, I assume we'll get new, better shit. So I assume that's why it's so expensive. For them. Um, 45 days to sell, nature of the curse, we could do that. I kind of want to rebuild. One of that. That goes too divine. Um, I think we'll give it one more week so we can go rebuild the temple. Alright. I think that's good on that. Um, yeah, I know that rogues can use sneak attack. That's like D&D &D 101. <laughs> that's the basic shit. Hey, what's up, dude? Uh, yep, another great day being the Baroness and stuff. I hope y'all like the new things we're working on. We got in the works and construction. Um, it's pretty bitchin'. You can see it right here. It looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. See, we have a tavern. I don't need to make another tavern, do I? <laughs> Is that how that works? We'll find out. Either way, just to let you know, I'm the Baroness, and I'm building you shit because I love you guys, and you should all bow down, worship me, and give me tons of party blowjobs because I'm so awesome. Just throwing that out there, just a suggestion. I am your Baroness, after all. <laughs> oh, can you imagine if I was the leader of the place? Leader of some kind of civilization, and just the first degree is like, what about the party blowjobs, though? <laughs> I am your leader, after <laughs> uh, How well do you think that would go over? My guess is not very well. Um, not 450 go. I thought I like 250. I'll take 400. I'll take 450. I ain't complaining. Doing nothing. That's what I thought you said. Okay, I need a thousand gold. I need to acquire a thousand gold, which is pretty easy to do. Just like two plus one weapons, and like, I'm ready to go, you know? I am gonna level up real fast. Uh, because it's not gonna make a difference if I don't level up right now. I'm gonna need to level up anyways, not a big deal. He leveled up. Fuck yeah, I don't know how he did it, but he did it. So I'll take that. <clears throat> um. <laughs> I don't know what I did that gave him the extra little tiny boost of experience. I'm sure I chose some kind of... I built something? Maybe it's because I built something so that quest got completed? Is that what? Yeah. I don't bear any stat. Yeah. 
So I guess we need three level ups, which I am down to do. We'll start with Tatiana, who's probably by far going to be the most difficult, I would such a, I assume. I don't fucking know. Uh, oh, just a mag magic arcana. Um, yes, probably. Not. And potentially spells. Do I get new ones? Not till level seven. Level seven is going to be a big fucking level for me. Feet, medium armor with no arcane penalties, and level three spells. It's going to be a pretty big level. It's going to be pretty big. I like the sound of that. I don't think my base attack bonus is going up. It doesn't look like my base attack bonus went up, which is fine. Four skill points. Arcana. Perception. Yeah, all these. It's all the same. What we've been doing. No reason to increase anything else. It's not really going to help us very much. Anyways. Um, even a plus one in there is not going to help me at all. So. Abilities. Uh, Magis Arcana. Arcane Accuracy, expand one point. I'm just reminding myself of what all these do. Insight bonus equal to intelligence mod on all tackles until I'm doing, which is pretty fucking sick. Enduring Blade, which you get level 6, because we're level 6. Uh, enchants this weapon using Arcane. We'll spend one additional point for his Arcane Pool to increase the duration of the enchantment to one minute per Magis level. I don't really think I need that. Persistent. Attack. I mean, just because one point for his arcade bonus reduction. I'm to anticipate the bonus defenses. Enemies uh, deny the deck's night bonus against the magic attack until the end of the match's next turn. Eh. Whatever. Uh, whenever the magic uses a wand, he calculates the DC for any spell it contains using his intelligence modifier instead of the minimum modifier needed to cast a spell at that level. Ah, oh, I see. So I think that makes the DC of the spell harder. To succeed on, but most of my wand spells probably won't have much of a DC. I don't know. What are they? There's not a lot. Uh, <laughs> that's level 9. Uh, pull as a switch action to move more quickly. This function is haste, but only targets the man. Just last one. Yeah. Definitely want that at 9. That's like, pff, must have. Uh, it's not horrible. I expect two points for the regular bonus, which I should resolve. Always made a little text to the just made the touch text. Definitely also want that. Yeah. I mean, those two for sure are going to be things that I get. I uh, don't care about that. And Bane is also something I want to get. Uh, Bane, Dimension, Hasted. That is one, two, three, four. Yeah, no, I got. I, I got enough for all the things I want. Um. Yeah, I think if, if if one mastery starts becoming a thing that's like oh, I might want to get, I'll probably do that until until then. Getting myself at least a plus five on all my attack rolls until end of turn sounds pretty fucking sick. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Alrighty, spells. Uh, business burn both strength. The cat's grace frigid tactics. A little cold touch. Clear dust and visibility, which. And, uh, so I guess we should probably get frigid touch because it could be pretty useful in the long run. We won't really need invisibility because we no longer have a rogue, so there's no real reason for me to do that for them. I guess we'll get blur. I guess we will get uh, frigid touch and blur. There we go. That. All right. Yeah. Now we can give ourselves a plus five to our attack bonus, which I mean is already plus eight naturally. It's crazy AC. Um. You, my good sir, Jubilost. I still need to work your spells and shit. Level six alchemist. We get to see what our discoveries are. We get another second level spell slot. Base attack bonus goes up, which does help our thrown weapons as well. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Breath weapon bomb. Haven't heard of that one before. <laughs> uh, explosive bombs. That's what I'm talking about. I love that one. Infusion is good, but like... Ooh, that's how that works in this game? I don't think that's how that works in a regular Pathfinder. If it is, I played an Alchemist incorrectly. Well, technically I didn't because I got Infusion in level 2. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure they switched this up because you can't really... It'd be weird to create potions. Actually, it wouldn't be weird to create potions in the game and they give them to people. Um, so usually what infusion does, and usually why you take infusion at level 2. Like, always. If you're going to use extracts at all, you usually want to take infusion at level 2. Because usually... Oh, can you... Not, maybe that is how that works. Because I always figured you could take the potion and cast it. And that's how we always played it. But maybe... Hmm. So you could still cast spells on people. Um, you just couldn't be like, here, here's a healing potion. Use it when you need it. Uh, which infusion would allow you to do. Because uh, if you handed any of your ex extracts, your spells, to anyone else, if they left your possession for any reason, they became inert. Uh, they no longer worked. With infusion, you could hand off your potions that you create to other people so they could carry it around with them f for 24 hours uh, and use it when they needed it. Um, but this is straight up saying that like you can't use spells on anyone else unless you take infusion. It's weird. <laughs> I never played it that way. I don't know if that's how it works. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we definitely want uh, fast bombs at level 8. Makes it so we can throw more than one bomb around. If we get our attack bonus up high enough, which we, with haste and whatnot we can be thrown. Uh, with haste and rapid shot, I believe we can throw up to like five bombs around or something like that. It's pretty sick. Uh, let's look what we can get, because some of these i never seen. Okay, so you drink a bomb and then use it as a breath weapon instead of... So, it turned into a cone rather than uh, AoE on target you throw at. Okay, I mean, that's interesting. That's definitely cool. i never seen that before. Uh, nah, I don't need that. Cog... Nitrogen? Uh, I create a mutagen, like, make sure that heightens one mental ability. Right, right, right. And I don't know if that... I never saw that when I was playing an alchemist. I would have loved to have something like that. But that is a, that is an option we can choose to heighten our mental abilities to sacrifice, I believe, our uh, physical abilities. Which is not a horrible idea. Uh, spelling Bomb has gotten me out of a lot of trouble when I played an alchemist. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I used that, uh, uh, when, when I switched over being a DM with my friend and let him do a, a side campaign inside my campaign, uh, like a kind of a, a side quest, uh, for a couple weeks inside my campaign using a campaign that we, all of us who was in the group had done previously and kind of dropped off because we lost two players and, and stuff. So it was kind of like a hey, bring bring your characters into this realm that you already know, and I got to play my character, uh, who was an alchemist, and I had Dispelling Bomb. He was a level 20 alchemist, super fucking strong. And there, we were going against a Lich, so obviously there was a lot of kind of mind-affecting spells and a lot of just nasty stuff that was being cast on our people, and whenever I needed it, I would just chuck a bomb and try to break the, uh, the mind effect and stuff like that, and it worked many times. <laughs> Dispelling Bomb came in handy a lot. So this is definitely something that might be worth picking up for sure. Explosive Bomb is amazing. The target that the main target that you hit catches fire taking what is it? Fire damage each round and increases the splash to 10 feet instead of the 5 which is and all honesty this is probably what I'm taking no matter what. We might have to take infusion eventually because doesn't sound good. Uh, feral mutagen and grand mutagen, greater mutagen are really awesome if you want to pick an alchemist to be a fighter type because uh, you can give huge bonuses to natural armor, to like strength, dexterity, and con um, and just totally, you know, it's pretty much the uh, I think uh, the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of thing. Like you take your your potion, then you go all fucking crazy beast mode on them and shit, and I think you can get... I don't know if you can get it in this one... Yes, yes, Feral Mutagen. Um, allows you to get, like, bite attacks and claw attacks. Um, which is, uh... 
<laughs> which is going full animal mode, which is pretty fucking sick. Perfect. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not horrible. Serve organs is weird. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, it's not, I, I, the way it's described is weird, but it's actually really uh, powerful, because fortification on armor is really fucking powerful in general. Uh, it kind of helps nullify sneak attacks and critical death hits, um, but I think we could probably get fortification anyway, so. and not that I would need it anyway. So. But uh, I, w I would prefer him to just do a AoE spells, which is why I'm not very happy with the spells he has, but um, I can't do anything about that shit. So, fuck you gonna do? But yeah, explosive bombs gonna be—it's gonna be very helpful. It's gonna be very fucking helpful. Uh, skills, trickery, of course, doesn't. Yeah, because he's replacing <laughs> my trickery person, so he's definitely gonna need it. Knowledge world that don't hurt. Uh, perception use magic device. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good shit. I don't think it's gonna matter because I don't think I'm gonna reset him anytime soon. But that's fine. Um. See, I don't like any of his fucking <laughs> level 1 spells, except for Cure Light Wounds. Uh, but I don't know if he gets any good level 1 spells. Well, Fire Belly is pretty good. I mean, that's that's okay. It's not a lot of damage, but like, Fire Belly is kind of in the right direction of what I want him to go. Yeah, no, he has like every level 1 spell. Uh, so you just don't really get great level 1 spells, I guess, on the Alchemist. Unfortunately, I don't think I can learn spells like a wizard can, like you can do on alchemists um, in regular D and D. But I don't think, or Pathfinder, but I don't think you can do it here. Uh, I want damage spells. It's kind of weird. These are like divine spells, and alchemists are arcane casters. So that's kind of fucking weird. That um, I mean, you can learn divine spells as well as a uh, as an alchemist. But like he's, there are arcane casters, and there's like almost no arcane spells. Um, I just wanted a quick example of what I should be able to get on an alchemist at level two. But I think most a lot of these spells aren't implemented into the game, and I'm not sure why they're not implemented into the game. I feel like they really should be, because uh, there's so much of Pathfinder that is implemented into this game. That kind of blows my mind. Why they? don't <laughs> have them in this game. Okay, yeah, a lot of these is on his list. Um, elemental Touch, that would be nice to have. Uh, uh, fire Breath would be really nice to have. Yeah, uh, a Vomit Swarm would be really cool to have as well. Uh, the rest of these is not really... Uh, it's already either in here or is more divine in nature. But I'm just saying, you know, there's like three, at least three damaging spells that they just decided you don't get in Kingmaker. Not sure why. That kind of nerfs um, extract spellcasting alchemists, and that's kind of really unfortunate. Constitution could be could be pretty good. I think Constitution could be pretty good, because I think a lot of my people are not going to have Constitution buffs on them, so I think we'll go Bear's Endurance. We'll just have his level 2 be buff and level 3 try to get as many damaging spells as we possibly can, which we'll probably have to look at what those could even potentially be. I don't know why this one's bomb. Bombs. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little confused with that, but that's alright. Um, what you get at next level? I like the sound of that. Haste is very nice. It's very nice to have on an alchemist. Um, because you're just in the back and you're just like, okay, everyone, move faster, attack more. <laughs> really fucking powerful. I. Mm, why? Mm. Why? 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 I, I can't do this until one of my people can cast level 3. But hopefully he could learn Fireball. Because, uh, he can. <laughs> Again, if I consult <laughs> the material. Alchemist, level 3. Uh, he doesn't naturally learn it. I taught myself that. I did not know that. <laughs> I guess not. But if you do look it up, it does say in Pathfinder 
and the I believe in the book. Yeah, in the book that has the alchemists and under the extracts, it does say that they can learn uh, spells uh, just like wizards do by copying it into their spell book. They can learn spells the same way, the exact same way that wizards can in their alchemist book, like wizards can in their spell book, which means wizards can write down spells into their spell book and learn them. Alchemists can as well, but. I don't know if this game's gonna let me do that or not, but also I need to be level three before I or can cast level three spells before I can even think about doing said action. Uh, barbarian. She does get a rage power, which is pretty nice, and danger sense, which I don't give two shits about. Um, but uh, next level she does get uh, dr. D oh, wait a second, right there. I was like, wait, level six? She gets a second attack. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's fucking sexy. Oh, I'm all getting hot and bothered and shit. Whew. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Whew. Okay, rage power. <laughs> Calm down here. Oh. Uh, from what I'm seeing here, because we're not going to really put anything into any other stance, because I don't really want to be in any other stance. Um, and I don't think we're gonna get the beast totem. I don't remember what the dragon totem does. I know I've looked at it a couple of times. Uh, so it's between renewed vigor and swift foot. And since we have uh, four people that can heal, though technically I think right now my alchemist cannot heal anyone besides himself, uh, I don't think we need renewed vigor. I think another 10 feet of movement speed, giving her like 50 <laughs> feet of movement speed. Um, I think that's gonna be fun. Alright, swift foot. Swift foot it is. Uh, 83 HP. That sounds about right. Um, additional attack. 10 more feet of movement speed. Alright. Well, shit. I'm excited to see her in action. Uh, you. Uh, we'll take one bomber's eye at least. Um, bark skin. Wait a minute. It's an enhancement to natural armor. Shield is just a shield bonus. Shit. That's Dax. Um, uh, take that. Okay. Um, we need to find a way to get about a thousand gold. If I remember correctly. And I can't really see the map at the moment. Leave this place. We are coming down on spells at the moment. That's okay. Yep, that's my crew. She definitely looks like she's supposed to be a ranger, but I don't care. <laughs> I do what I want. Um, mercenaries, gotta go back to information here. Just make sure it's. Yep, it is 18,000, not 18.5. 18. 5. 18 thousand so how can we get minimal amounts of experience while trying to get 1,000 gold I am uh, hoping the trail in the hills hopefully that will give me something that sounds good Just travel over here I, th I think we're still good on rations uh, let's go this one well, I was gonna go there anyways. I don't know why Ooh, let's fight it I'm ready for a fucking fight. Alright, who the fuck wants to fight? Bandits? Question mark? Oh no! Those are the undead! Got it! <laughs> I thought they were bandits. He's still low on health. Um. Yo, Miri, go show him what it means to feel pain real fast if you would. If you kindly would. Ah, uh, yeah, she's close to lovely too, which is, I think is getting close to getting the, the uh, Smilodon. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, pounce, which is gonna increase our power by like a fuckload. So, ready? Clicked up. 
party can suffer. It's fine. It's so weird that there's just two random skeletons just chilling. Just chilling on the road, you know. <laughs> As one does. Uh, I want to see how close she is. Okay, she is approximately 322 off. Good to know. Oh, yeah. Right, I got to travel. That looks first. Alright. Trail on the hills. Let's see what's up with this trail inside this hill. Please control to unsnap your area effect. Yeah, I tried that. It didn't work very well. <laughs> Just gonna put that one out there. Is there anything over here? Anything to perceive? Nope, at least not that I was successful in perceiving. Ooh, here we go, or something. Bada bing, bada boom. Wanna walk in on the king of the room? Yo, if you never listened to Watsky, you should do yourself a favor. Go check that man out. He's been some good shit. He's been some real good shit. Onwards. Ooh. Oh! Who are you? <sighs> That's a level 10 leopard. Low H below AC though. Low AC though. And it looks like it's poison. It's it, it, it's pest dexterity damage. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> it doesn't have no dexterity. It's like what the fuck is dexterity damage? <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be very effective. And I also don't want to be the first one to run into combat here. So we're gonna move him over here next to this lizard. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Make that saving throw. It's exactly what I wanted you to do. I'm not gonna dominate him because that's gonna end the fight real fucking fast. And then I'll just have to wait for it not to be dominated. I will try to hold him, however. This is a decent chance. Plus four will save. Could definitely work. Throw <laughs> save failed. That's five rounds. You're welcome, team. Um, what else do we got here? Bark skin, durians, and bars on it. Throw that out there. Uh, let's give him a shot. Yeah, start whacking on him while he can't fight back, because that's how we roll, bitch. It's a level 10 after all. I don't think it's going to have any loot though, which is unfortunate, but hopefully since they have a level 10, it's just chilling out around here. Uh, that would give me the decency of having some good loot around here. And failed the will save again. They go down! They will. He is definitely gonna go down. And attack? Yeah. He is now surrounded. Completely dazed. <laughs> Completely controlled. Now that is why we have a fade ruin in the group. It's saved on. I'm sure it's. Yeah, I'm sure it's. Uh, it's fort save is probably amazing. And it is. It's plus fucking 13. Like. For sure. Really good. Um, but it's will save, not so much. Um, we'll just we whack. Can do it. Or not. We won't whack. We hear death already. 105 HP went by really fast. And it failed again. It has to roll on that 20. I want to see a Miri go for a double swing right here. Okay. She only got one off before the thing died. Oh my god, really? Rolled a one? Okay, well, there was one there. <laughs> There's 625 right there, bitches. <laughs> That's how we do it. We need 107. No, 207. 207 gold. 
Again, I was like, I'm hoping it will have good loot for having to fight a level 10. Though, technically, we fucked that level 10 up. <laughs> to be fair. But, uh, still. It only seems fair. Is this, is this the entire map was just a level 10? That was it. <laughs> just one level 10 animal? Just chilling in these hills? Is that... Alright. Well. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it is what it is. It didn't give much experience, so it's okay. Yeah, only 56. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Before we exit, however, you should definitely heal your baby because she is hurt. Uh, you doing? 27. Give him another. Hit him with another. Nice. Much better. And does anyone have their charges back? Oh yeah, we got a lot of restoration on you. Yeah, hey, your restoration's back. Let's see what we can do. Here. Make it happen, Rich. Make it happen. Ooh, three decks. I think that's not back to normal. Still has negative three. Hit him again, Richard. <laughs> Okay, back to full. Back to normal decks. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I wanted to check. Yes. Oh, it's level 7. Level 7, she evolves and gets pounce. That's right. It's it's not on her. It's on me. Um, yeah, level 7. <laughs> it gets plus 8 decks. Or eight, plus 8 strength, plus 4 con and 2 AC and pounce. <laughs> Level 7 is going to be a really strong level for us. Like, uh, we're going to just... Everyone's just fucked once we hit level 7. <laughs> not 100% true, but... Not far off either. Um... I kind of want to go exploring around. Uh, see if we can find any... Patches of places we missed around here. Let's kind of fully... Search it out and whatnot. Hey, it looks better. I don't think it's fully complete, but it looks better. Um, we can connect to this road and take it up. I think that that'll work. Uh, let's save real fast. Might as well. I think we can delete this quick save. I think we're safe. <laughs> no, let's try up you never know there might be something. Well, I'm sorry. We just have to wait a little bit longer coal mine. Oh, we should also pick up some of the berry bushes and shit on the way up and these uh, yeah, these excavation sites and shit. We should probably go pick those up while we're out here. But soon everyone's going to become fatigued. Um. <laughs> Why are we going this direction? Like, how about back towards this direction? Uh, most of my people are fatigued anyway, so we'll just go sleep. Right, no one got put up, put in that position. We're doing haggis. Oh, we got a lot of haggis shit. Let's let's make some haggis tonight. I've heard a hypothesis that northern barbarians are descended from frost giants. Looking at you, Amiri, I tend to think there's a modicum of truth in this. Giants? <laughs> Aim higher. I'll have you know, we descended from the mountains themselves. Alright. Hunter returned empty handed while well, we are in the mountainside. Varnhold's over here. That looks like a major fucking place. It's nerve wracking, to say the least. <laughs> I don't like the look of that. Uh, let's claim this place. In the name of me, pay 15 BP to claim this resource. Provides 1 BP a week. Salt. Yeah, let's claim it. In the name of me. Ancient riverbed. Can we claim multiples? Looks like pretty cool if we do. Oof. We go slow and mountains. Arbor Rock. 
No, let's save first. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm getting on the outskirts here. I could be facing some really high shit. Like, just over here in the fucking... Over here was level 10. And that's, uh, well, at least 10. I think it's 10 CR or level 10. I don't know. I think it's 10 hit dice. I think that might mean it's around that level. I'm not 100% sure because it is next to the health, so. Or to the heart, so I assume it means 10 hit dice, which often means it's a level 10, but not always. I think animals have higher hit dice by at least one or two. Um, so it's probably level 8, maybe level 7. Um, so. You know. <laughs> wasn't as strong as it looked but it was still pretty fucking strong it just didn't get a chance to hit me cause I held animal <laughs> immediately not taking any fucking chances and I did not look at what I just picked up plus 12 shining shell is plus 3 and this is plus 1 I mean, that's, that's fucking pillaging right there. Pillaging money. Uh, I'm looking for a tussle, man. I'm always, no I'm always looking for a good tussle. Let's, let's fucking bounce, dog. Let's, let's get in on this shit. Ooh, that looks like a good tussle. This is reminding me a lot of like that time that there was like. Were rats, and um, I'm gonna let you in on a little spoiler. They were really strong, <laughs> and they kind of fucked me up really bad. And it was not a good time. Let's try it. <laughs> Ooh, I'm seeing webs. Webs, webs, webs. I don't like. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, four. Four outsider, 26 HP, nothing. Like, uh, <laughs> a huge earth elemental, huh? Well, this will definitely give me the money I need. Uh, quick save. Uh, cross your heart. Hope to live. Don't stick anything in your eyes, kids. It's really bad for you. Are we ready? We're gonna need to rage and go. Hopefully we can take this uh, elemental out immediately. Close, actually. Um, and we can get in position to take this elemental out immediately. Which might not happen because I think they both have 5 DR. Well, actually, you know, minimum damage would be 2. So if we do hit... It will do damage. None of these people are... They're outsiders. I cannot affect them, like, at all. I'm sure they're immune to mind affecting. Poison stun. Precision sleep paralysis stun. Oh, yeah, they'd be immune to color spray for sure. Uh, Tangle could affect them. I could go bar skin somebody. Like, that'd be pretty useful for me. That'd be a useful turn for me. That's about it. Um... He might not be able to damage them either, but it's... Uh, is it a five foot step to throw it? Oh, on her, yeah. On him, no. That's, uh... Yeah, no, that's 12. So... It's... Five foot forward. Take a shot. Will they ever learn? May? Okay, that one has damage reduction. This one does not. Okay, good enough. Um, we can summon in some wolves. Uh, we'll probably do that next turn. Get in position to put it behind them. It's usually not a bad idea. Uh, they have fire resistance. They have spell resistance, but not fire resistance. Good to know. It's, you know. I'm just having ideas, having thoughts. Um, I can move over and hit this one twice. Or I could take this one out. Potentially take this one out, which... <laughs> I do have a huge... No. I got a text message, I got distracted. I do have a huge bonus to attack. <laughs> like, chances are. 
Alright, she'll take this person with her 95 HP. You know, whatever. No big deal. This one's dead as fuck. It has low AC as well. Of course, most elementals do. I feel like Earth elementals shouldn't. But <laughs> most do. I'll probably go up here and bark skin a Miri. I would imagine. That'd be a pretty good good turn for me. Yeah, I'm gonna bar skin a Miri. Uh, it's not evil, it's just an outsider, it's just neutral. Um, can we bane? No, we can divine bond. We can't challenge. No, we can't smite it. Which we need to do smite evil, finishing. I haven't had a reason to, so I haven't, but like, we should, you know. For sure. Uh, move up 15 feet. Get in position. Throw a bomb at this bitch. Crap! <laughs> 19 damage. Not bad. He hurts, though. This fucker hurts. It's dodgy sees to me. Don't roll a 1. <laughs> Don't roll a 1. That's why touch AC is so fucking broken. Four. Complete wolves. Oh my god, somebody's gonna get so fucking broken <laughs> when he gets the stronger creatures. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. It's so good, man. It's so good. Alright, Tatiana. I'm thinking range is gonna be your strong suit here. Hey, that went up to eight now. Hell yeah. Uh, let's shoot him with a ray. Nice. Again, his touch he sees nothing. So... Even though, again, negative four for shooting into combat is touching, so he's nothing. Um, go goodbye. Down! Yep. 67 XP for that. Not bad. Not too much. I, I mean, yeah, it can be used to cast certain spells, so I don't know if I want to sell that one. Let's see what else we get. Because that can be used for some strong resurrection spells. So let's see what else. We have here. I'm pretty sure I saw. Yeah, I saw something here. Yeah, that would do it. The warhammer would do it. Yep. Standard warhammer. Yep. There we go. All right, we got what we want. I want to keep that diamond because that <laughs> that can be used to bring someone back to life or for certain like really strong uh, restoration spells or something like that. Um. So uh, definitely do not want to. Fuck around with that. Anything that we missed? I do not see any treasures hidden around here. So I think we're ready to go. We can head back to town. Upgrade this guy. Start looking at items we actually want. Um, I think we. I think. Uh, well, we could also pass time if we wanted to.